Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at managing events in Google Calendar. There are many different ways you can create events in Google Calendar, so let me show you a few. If you're in Calendar itself, you can click the Create button to create an event, and this will open up your event box and you can add the information here. Another way of doing that is picking the date time where you want your calendar event and then clicking the box and you can then again add the information there. Another way is if you're in Gmail and you get an email and you want to create an event from that, you can click the three dots for more options, click Create Event. This will open up your new event in Calendar with some information and all the information from the email down here and then you can just obviously adjust the times and dates. Another way is if you have the side panel open for Calendar in a Google application, you can click on here, create your event in that view. And the last way I'll let you know is within Spaces in Google Chat. If I click on my space here, and then I click on the plus icon, and then I've got the information to open up a calendar invitation. Now we've got our event window open, we can add some information. You can do this in two ways. This is the quick access view that has some of the options, or you can click more options here. Just across the top though, you do have options for event, Focus time, this is time when you can set aside for a particular task and it means that it automatically declines meetings during that time. You've got your out of office, you've got your tasks, reminders and appointment slots as well. But we're going to focus on events and we're going to go into the more options. So I'm going to add my title in and here I can change the date and time if I want. If I want to ever change my time manually, I can click in there and I could change that manually. We've also got the option for a time zone. This is great if you are joining with people from a different time zone, just to make sure you're all gonna be there at the right time. You've got the option for an all day meeting and an option for repeating. When repeating, you've got daily, weekly, monthly, annually, and custom. So let's click at custom. You could say every two weeks, you could say I want it on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And you get the option for when it ends. So you could say it ends on a specific date or after so many occurrences and click done. And that will save that there. Next, we got some options regarding guests and finding a time and Google Meet. We're going to cover these options in a different video called Managing Guests in Google Calendar. Next, we got notifications for our event. You can have an email or a pop-up notification. You can also adjust the time. So I could say 15 minutes if 10 wasn't enough. I can change it as well from minutes to hours, days and weeks. I may also want to have an additional notification. I could have more than one if I want. And I could say, well, this one's going to be one hour before. And this one is going to be an email one week before. So it depends on what the event is. You can get the right notifications that you will need. Then you've got the calendar. If you've got more than one calendar, you can choose it here and choose which calendar it appears in. And down here at the bottom, you've got room for information. So I can add info here about the meeting. I can attach a file, clicking the paperclip icon. And I can do that from my drive or upload a file. Or I can create meeting notes. And if I create meeting notes, it adds a document that's shared with all guests in the organization and gives a basic document layout for your meeting. One thing we do have on the side here is rooms. So if I click on rooms, if you've had this set up in your admin console, you can use this feature to book in rooms or resources for your organization as well. But I'm gonna click save. And I can see my event has appeared here. If I open this up, I can get some other options. Obviously, if I want to go and edit it, I click here, delete it here emailing guests and I can click on the options here. One is to print. So if I need to print this off for any reason, I can duplicate it. So if I want to use this as a template for other meetings, I can also publish the event. This means if I click on here, I get a link that I can share with people so that then they can add this event to their own calendar. So I hope this has been helpful in setting up and managing your event. If you do want to invite guests to your event, then do check out our other video regarding that.